Louisiana Beer Reviews, Seagram's Escapes, Jamaican Me Happy. He said, uh, you, you said you were never going to do something like this. I never really intended to review these kind of beers. Flavored beer, um, I saw Holly's Happy Hour doing it, and uh, I said, I uh, commented on her channel, I said, I guess it wouldn't kill me to do one of these. She said, it wouldn't kill you. Okay, um, Mathern says these for 99 cents a single. Walmart has the 12 packs for like 11 something. 11. I can't, well, it's, it's cheaper than this. But I said, I'm not buying a, a variety pack. Seagram's Beverage Company, Rochester, New York. Okay, so this line of beverages is owned by NAB, North American Breweries, same people that own Genesee, okay? I found that the trademark for this was acquired in 2006, so I guess these have been on the market for 11 years. Lemon, strawberry, watermelon, and guava. Malt beverage with natural flavors and certified color. So it's artificial color. All of the escapes are the same ABV according to the website, 3.2. It's only an 11.2 ounce bottle, see, so it's not that great of a deal. You left 11 something for a 12 pack. You're not getting a 12 ounce bottle, you're getting the European size, 330 milliliters. But it is beer, flavored beer. Some people think it's a wine cooler. It has nothing to do with wine. It's water, barley malt, probably some hops. Ooh, a whole lot of adjunct and a whole lot of other stuff so I don't know I can't really say oh, I'm not gonna do this but here I am I've, I've done not your father's root beer and the best damn root beer and uh, the Reds apple ale and all that stuff that's the same type of thing all right clear bottle whoa I'm only getting 11.2 ounces here I am spilling it not good. Just wasted two cents. All right. <sighs> Filled it too high. I didn't buy it to spill it off. Well, as you can imagine, the head fizz right away. With these kind of concoctions happens with the reds. Bubbly. Hope somebody is not hurt out there. Yeah, the siren. Yeah, that tend tend to hear that all during the day. Some very fine particles, bubbles, eh, this is an etched bottom though, so it's going to be more bubbly than normal. Alright, these seem to be pretty popular, I mean, Mathern's got it constantly coming in. Walmart does a lot when Dixie, so it's, it's a pretty big brand. And then there's other ones, Marinoff, and it's a whole world of flavored beers as we know. It does smell fruity. Like a fruit salad type thing. With a malt under taste. Um, now Holly said, uh, she said I really like it because I like sweet beverages. She likes these kind of things. I don't really like them. But I did do so many reviews for, the, like I said, the Reds, Apple Ale, their, their beers. And they're, the, like I said, the same type thing, same type flavor. So And they have the caramel color. Now you see, it's, not, it's saying it has natural flavors. So it might really have those fruits. <laughs> I cannot say it doesn't because I have no information to counter that they have real fruits, real fruit flavors. Hmm. The bodies, uh, and I did that pecan flavored beer from Abita. I forgot to talk about the body, but that one, body on that one was medium and the finish was medium dry. The body here is medium, it's not super light. It's a pretty dry finish, I gotta admit. And it's got a little bit of that, that soft drink, flavored drink, kind of mouth dryness that I never like in soft drinks. 
there was a car went in a ditch on the street over there a little while ago. They heard him pulling. I saw him pulling, trying to pull that Nissan out. I don't know how that happened. Face down in the ditch, forward. Now, it's not the kind of thing I would normally buy, okay? But honestly, it's not terrible. I can think of a lot of beers that are way worse than this that aren't flavored, like Cowboy Lager. <laughs> uh, pretty much anything from Menhaus, like Name Tag Lager. That's <laughs> um, Simpler Times, Pilsner and Lager. Those Trader Joe's beers, they're way worse than this. Uh, Milwaukee Special Reserve, Milwaukee Special Reserve Ice, Beer 30, Beer 30 Ice, Boxer Lager, I mean, uh, Mountain Crest. I mean, those are ghastly, horrible, nightmarish. This one is okay if you like this style. I don't like the style. But I do think it's very good in the style. And what do we do here? What should everybody do, I think? Grade the product within the style. Flavored beer concoction. And I gave reds A minus, B plus all the time. Within that area, good to very good to even excellent in some cases. So well, I would have to say the same thing. Yeah. Maybe I'll go through all of them over the maybe once a month, huh? I don't want to do it too much because um, it's not something I want to mess around with. But once a month, I think I could tolerate that. Don't get the I don't understand this code F three o seven one four o seven colon forty six e. It doesn't really matter. All right, so <laughs> from Rochester, New York, to you via me or your local store. Seagram's, I'll say B plus, very good. So laissez les you never know until you try it, right? It has no off flavors, like no off flavors or aromas. 3.2% alcohol is very low ABV and it's just fine. Y'all come on down to Southeastern Louisiana.